Our next guest is David Cohn of Doc Wayne. Welcome, David. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Uh, so, what's Doc Wayne? I think of like Back to the Future, Doc something or other, but uh, yeah, a little a strange name, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're a nonprofit based here in Boston. Uh, it's the official name is Doc Wayne Youth Services. Okay. Um, we were we our mission mission is to uh, fuse sport and therapy to heal and strengthen youth. We're working nice. with um, youth who really been dealt a, a challenging hand in life. Um, you know, we work with kids who struggle with mental health issues uh, and are victims of complex trauma, which include things like uh, abuse, neglect, violent crime, sexual trafficking, and exploitation. Uh, and we combine therapy with sport to hook them um, and help provide life skills to them and, and give them hope and possibility. Did you start the nonprofit? No, I'm actually the only or first executive director. It was founded by a woman named Susan Wayne uh, when she was the president of a human, large human service agency. And her brother was uh, Eli Doc Wayne. Um, and he passed away years ago and she wanted to put something together in his uh, memory. Uh, he was a staunch advocate for sport and youth and the connection it can have with, with kids. And she put together a, what it was, a rec program within her own agency uh, in 2002, and then it grew into something a bit more, with more substance. And then in 2010, uh, when she retired, she took the base of what she had and the curriculum that she helped create and uh, form Doc Wayne uh, in, into a nonprofit. How do people find you? What, uh, you know, are they looking for something? Is there a problem? Uh and then how do yeah. you fund? How do you fund yourself? Sure. Um, well, it's it's uh, how do people find us? Well, we we, we get referrals. Uh, we have a lot of collaborative partnerships with human service agencies uh, in the in the uh, in the region, uh, offering services to to the kids as a complementary service to what they they offer youth and families. Uh, we get calls from social workers, parents, guardians, uh, folks from the state, um, looking for help. Um, it's uh, it's a challenge. We had some seed money going into uh, 2011 when I came on as the executive director, but mm -hmm. we didn't have uh, much support in terms of foundations, a constituency. Do you get corporate contract. support or is it all personal? S so no. So we, we we try to get support from wherever we can find it. So we've had to uh, you know, write grants, look for foundation support, individuals, corporations, state contracts. Um, wherever we can find the resources to make sure we keep the lights on for the, the kids that we work with. So is your full-time job a, a, a leadership administrative kind of role now? Or do you get involved with the kids as well? Well, you know, as the executive director, I, I need to take a, a sort of the leadership role of the organization. Um, but, um, you know, in the first few years, I, I, I wanted to be out there with the kids. Um, and I might have been out there too much. But I also am a, a believer you need to know your product. And so I spent, you know, hours after hour, you know, on the field with the kids to learn about their stories and, and to see what it's all about. You know, what, what, what are their challenges? Um, if I don't know that, then how can I lead the company? And how can I help us grow and do better work? What's your growth plan? Well, it's a... You said you're a Babson grad. Yeah. You're always into that stuff. What's the model? You know, there, 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 there are so many kids out there that... that, that um, could benefit from our services. I mean, right now we work with 500 youth. Um, my two-year plan, which to many would, s would seem um, as not uh, really aggressive, but is to double our number of youth that we serve in the next two years. Um, and, and to do that, we need about $750,000 so that we have clinicians and coaches in place to, to connect with these kids. You know, where that takes us, I mean, we, we we're approached often because of our curriculum and, and our, the uniqueness of what we do to uh, broaden our reach and and my hope long term is that we can expand our, our our best practices so other other agencies other programs that are out there can can have find that way to connect on a deeper level with kids